movie. We saw what he did earlier in the night. This mysterious new storm and he came out of nowhere and helped assault CJ Hawkins, effectively giving the scam artist the last lap before the legal lottery where Hoobie and CJ Hawkins will collide in a rematch for the World Heavyweight Championship. And it's gonna be a street fight. And look at this ring pyro that the scam artist has added to the to his entrance. What ignorant, arrogant, biggity bullshit. Oh man. You know what? I'm just gonna say this right now. I hope Nathan Elliott kicks Hoobie's ass again like he did the first time. I mean, true, it's argued that maybe CJ Hawkins interfered in that match, but Hoovy was the one stupid enough to ask for a no disqualification clause on that match as this thing gets underway. And I mean, I truthfully believe CJ Hawkins didn't even need to be involved. I think Nathan Elliott could easily beat Hoovy as we just saw some of that arrogance. And the scam artist appears to be fired up tonight. But he's, he knows his back is against the wall. And look at this arrogance. He's putting the boot on his chest. But only gets two. Ah. Yeah, this guy annoys me to no end. A lot of people annoy me in BYU. Ooh, Shadow MC annoys me. MT Wallet annoys me. The NWO annoys me. <coughs> but man, Hoobie's the cream of the crop, guys. He is just the king of annoyance. You know, I'll tell you what, uh, man, I'll tell you what, he's the king of annoyance for sure. Or er, Captain Murphy from DWA might be the king of randomness, which by the way is true. Oh, but this guy Hoovy's the king of annoyance and he knows how to annoy me 100% every single time. And, uh, forgive that, guys. I'm just going through a lot of crap right now. And, oh! Right into the ring post. And Hoovy making it no secret that he's out to make an example at the expense of Nathan Elliott. And just look at this. Look at this. He's got the steel chair in his hand. This is bullshit. And it, oh, he, Nathan blocked it and hits Hoovy over the head. Wait a minute. How come the referee didn't disqualify him though? Is this a no disqualification match? I was not given any notification about this. Uh, and Hoovy of course just used the chair right there. And the Scamor is locking in the sharpshooter. Gonna go for the... Didn't get the submission. Oh and he smacked him in the leg with the chair. Probably a good strategy if he's looking for a submission win with a sharpshooter, which I think is what he's thinking about. Still nothing. Man, of course, like I said earlier in the night, Aftershock is going to be the next show, then EBA. That'll be the new schedule from here on in. I don't know. Ah! Chair shot by Hoovy. And another one. I don't know why Hawkins07 wanted to switch up the schedule like that, but I'll ask him about it later. Right, and wait a minute, Nathan Elliott uh, setting up the chair on his ankle. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Give it to the scam artist. And, and Nathan Elliott right here. Ah! <clears throat> He's just taking it. He's just taking it right here to Hoobie, but Hoobie just side headlock in the counter. There's a boot. What a crazy night it's been. And what a crazy night it's been here. Oh! Nice flipping move right there by the scam artist. Not sure what that is. And naturally, Hoovy mocking it down opponent. Oh boy, I cannot stand the arrogance of this guy. And it's a damn shame too. Since he's such a great talent, as you just saw right there with the springboard elbow. With the springboard court flipping elbow. Look at this! Ah, oh, two count only. Let me just say right now, if you lose to a pin like that, it's an embarrassment. Oh, man. And Hoovy. Oh, wait a minute. Hoovy's dissecting the timekeeper's table. Earlier we saw the Afghanistan announce table get shattered by Dave the Tank Williams. 
And apparently, this is a no disqualification match. You know, how come nobody ever tells me these things? But whatever. And Hoobie in control of the match right here. He's got Nathan Elliott up on the table. Oh, wait a Oh, my God! RKO right to the timekeeper's table. Man. And Hoobie. I guess he's just... I guess he's just sending a message to CJ Hawkins. This is like a little preview of what he can expect in their street fight at the Lethal Lottery. Of course, the Lethal Lottery, I forgot to point out, is an Aftershock and Overdrive exclusive CPV. The EBA brand is busy preparing for sabotage, so they won't be there. There, as, as Nathan Elliott just had a Boston Crab applied. Yeah, Nathan Elliott right here. There, body slam on Hoovy. Body slam on Scam Artist, and now Nathan's going to the promised land. Oh, but it took too long, Hoovy. Just caught him, and the Scam Artist is going to fly here. The frog splash. He's got the leg hooked. There's one, two, no. Kick out right there by Nathan Elliott. But wait a minute. RKO! RKO out of nowhere! The Final Fantasy! He hits the Final Fantasy as he calls it. And he goes for the cover right here. Two. It's over. And that was indeed a Final Fantasy. And could this be Hoovy's Final Fantasy at the Lethal Lottery in a week and a half? Could he begin his second reign as World Heavyweight Champion? I guess we'll find out. But guys, that's going to do it for Overdrive. Thanks for watching. We will see you on Aftershock tomorrow. So until then, I'm JD Cage, and I am out. Falcon exit!